Right, welcome back to another video on my uh, ever-growing YouTube channel. Um, I would just like to say that as of this moment, my um, YouTube channel that uh, I is now officially two days old has uh, grown somewhat. We now have gone from five subscribers to 18. 18 subscribers. 300 350% increase. How good's that? This YouTube thing's easy. Anyway, today's video is going to be about this image right here. So, some of you might have seen this photo before. Um, you probably have. Um, you're probably sick of seeing it whenever you see me. But, the reason I want to dedicate an entire video to this one photo well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one is it happens to be my best-selling image. Number two is it turns 20 years old this year, which is mind-blowing. Um, the 9th of the 8th, 98, was when I took this photo. And the reason I want to um, talk about it a little bit is because what you're looking at there is pretty much the reason why I am talking to you right now, and that is that uh, I got a photo that basically has inspired me to become a photographer. Um, I got lucky. There's no question. I know I got lucky, but luck is opportunity combined with preparation, I think. Um, I think it might have been Ben Hogan that said, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Um, I'm not the hardest working photographer around, but back then in 1998, I was working pretty hard, um, trying to make a living, trying to make headway in the world of photography and um, on this one particular um, trip out to Lake Catharaba which is in southeast Queensland um, map time Um, Lake Catharaba, as you can see, not far from Noosa Heads in southeast Queensland. I was living in Noosa at the time. Went out camping by the edge of the lake at Lake Catharaba, um, looking for photos of the lake. I'd heard good things about it, and um, I'd heard that uh, there was um, plenty of photographic opportunities out there, so I went out there. Um, the night before this photo, uh, this was shot at sunrise, the night before I went out with my camera and scattered around loads of kangaroos, loads of kangaroos in this spot. So if you're perhaps an international uh, traveler and you want a cool place to come and camp for the night and get lots of kangaroo photos, Lake Catharaba uh, would be a place. Uh, I'm assuming 20 years later that they still there's still kangaroos in the area. Anyway, um, so next morning basically got up, shot a few more photos of the sun as it was rising. Um, I went back to um, my tent, which is literally just outside this photo. So my tent is just here uh, to make breakfast. And um, I uh, was mucking around making breakfast or whatever. And then I noticed this kangaroo came and started to sort of edge into this little point here. Now I also knew that the lake was very shallow. So it sort of dawned on me that if this kangaroo wanted to go past me, it would have to go through the water. Um, so I loaded up my um, trusty Pentax K1000, um, so an old film camera, manual wind film camera. I stood in this point back here and I lined up the trees either side and I lined up the path that I thought this kangaroo would take. As soon as I got the camera to my eye, luckily for me, the can kangaroo took off. Also, luckily for me, I happen to be in exactly the right settings to capture this photo. Uh, the, from memory, the image is shot at f8 at uh, 1 250th of a second. Now, this is shot on film, so obviously don't have the EXIF data to show you, but this, because uh, it predates digital, this photo. Um, so the kangaroo took off across the lake, um, and basically, if you can imagine hearing probably two, three splashes of water, and then a click of the camera, and then another series of splashes in the water. That was basically what it sounded like. It was the only sounds 
that happened on that day at that time because it was dead quiet dead calm and uh yeah a couple of splashes a click of the camera and the kangaroo went on its merry way uh, across the scene um so it, it was what as i say it's one of those photos that um is an opportunity combined with preparation now what i want you guys to take away from that is um photography is something that you can't just go out and buy a fancy camera and be the world's best photographer you've got to go out and put yourself in positions particularly as a landscape photographer and indeed as a wildlife photographer you've got to be able to get out and get into these places so if you're looking at getting into photography um, a little more seriously than you might already be now then what i say to people is don't invest too heavily in the gear invest more in the experiences so invest more in travel uh, invest more in getting yourself into these places um, invest in a really good piece of uh, camera like a, a really good camera bag for example something you can carry your gear in really well um, it's not what you've got it's how you use it and that is 100 percent true in the photographic industry um, as I say, this image was taken with a Pentax K1000. Now that's a student camera. Uh, even back in 1998, it was a student camera. I think my camera was made in 1973, which happens to be the year I was born, but um, that's by the by. It, it was an old camera then, it's still an old camera now. I don't know where it is. I wish I still had that camera. It's gone somewhere in, the, in, in all the moves and things like that over my life. That camera's unfortunately disappeared. Um, However, this image, um, getting back to the photograph, um, when I captured the image, as I say, because it was on film, uh, I had a friend of mine, Nigel, g'day Nigel if you're watching, um, process the image for me uh, at a little um, uh, Fuji lab in Tawanton, which is a, basically a suburb of Noosa, I guess. And um, he knew that I had something pretty special um, and he told me so he said I think you've got a good one here and of course when back then the thrill of looking through your photos it has just been processed and to see this image and what you're looking at there is the full negative there is no zooming cropping no rotation anything like that that is 100% the full negative of that image um, and yeah, I, 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 uh, I got very excited and as I say, I knew I had something pretty special and back then um, I was uh, trying to carve out a living at the Yamundi markets, um, selling some photography and ended up putting this image on the stall and lo and behold, uh, people liked it and I'm really grateful and I love the fact that people like this image. Um, I've been lucky enough to sell this image into probably 25 30 countries around the world um, a lot of people buy it who are from overseas and they tell me that where it's going to end up um, and loads and loads of people in australia have bought the image of course um, because i suppose it's a quintessentially australian image you can't get much more australian than a kangaroo hopping across a lake so um, yeah so that's a little background story about that image um, if you like this video and you like what you're seeing, please feel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's see if we can't get this channel up to 50 subscribers, let's say by the end of March 2018, that's where we are now. 50 subscribers is the goal by the end of March. So um, as I say, uh, hit the thumbs up button, share the video if you like, and please, 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 if you've got any questions or comments, comment below on this video and uh, we will see you probably tomorrow for another video. Bye for now.